listen up, listen up, listen up, real quick. Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out to posing practice today. Uh, this is something that we do every month. You know, this is not about anybody else outside of the building. It's more so about the people that's inside of this building that's wearing that muscle slide blue, that's bleeding that blue. Uh, how many people get ready for their first competition? Put your hand up. Okay. How many people a week out for their first competition? Put your hand up. Woo! I'm trying to run this fucking damn man out. We got her. Right? Oh, from your show. I'm sorry. From, not from your first show. From your next show. Excuse me. Alright. So, I always like to do a recap at the beginning of every posing practice. And what was the last show that we recapped? Did we recap the Junior USA's already? Yeah. Okay, we recapped the Junior USA's. And the next show after that was the Gold Classic, I believe. Correct? Went down to the Gold Classic. Straight up dominated. Uh, I believe that we had about eight first place finishes. You know, I believe we had some overall finishes. Uh, actually, Shanae won the overall Ghost Classic last year. And uh, I'm always, I'm always real, 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 um, as you say, um, I like to possess. I'm really possessive about things. And I wanted to possess that overall trophy. And then we had Shauna go back down there this year and win the overall bikini championship again at the Ghost Classic, so it, it remained in-house. Feedback was constantly doing positive things. Now we move forward to the Masters Nationals, and we gotta definitely talk about, uh, of course, some first-timers that went down there. Christine W. went down there. Everybody placed in the top 10, so give it up for that. I don't care what anybody tells you or what you guys see in magazines, but anybody knows, anybody that's done a national level show, put your hand up. So far. How hard is it to get in the top 10? Is it extremely hard to get in the top 10? So getting the top 15, getting the top 10, getting the top five, top three, winning it is exceptional. Uh, they kind of they kind of say winning your pro card is kind of like winning the Super Bowl. So it's not every year somebody's going out winning the Super Bowl. So uh, we had Mr. Shane Lewis who went down there against a tough class. He's not here. A tough class finishing the top five, his first national level show out the game. Give it up for him even though he's here. Talk about getting getting up more times when you're getting uh, knocked down. Uh, this guy, you know, been with him for about four years. Like I said, he, you know, this guy backstage put makeup on and shit. You know, got his wife put makeup on. I'm getting them ready. I'm like, you ready? I'm pop Jack. Like, get the makeup on, <laughs> right? So he gets all beautified. But this guy went to this show last year and didn't even place in the top 15. And I know it was a tough situation for him. And anybody else could have had an opportunity to quit. That was an out for him. He could have quit. Yeah, I'm, I'm pushing 50. I shouldn't be doing this anyways. I got a full, I actually got four different full-time jobs that I do. He could have made that excuse. But he didn't make that excuse. He got off his ass. He worked his butt off. And he went from not placing in the top 15 to going back this year, <laughs> placing in the top five in two different age divisions. Not top 10, but top five. Give it up for Matt. don't see this, but you one handsome guy, bro. I mean, once he put the makeup on, don't look, don't judge him now, but wait for him to get his makeup on. Uh, but he went back there and, and did his thing. Uh, one of my favorite, most hardest working people uh, that I know, and, and one of my close, close friends who I hold near dear to my heart, uh, went down there to her first national show after uh, doing a lot of damage in the Masters division, going down there, placing in the top 10 in her uh, age division. I want you guys to give it up for the owner, Jack Nutrition, Ms. Sandra Potato. I tell you what, it's not easy getting up there going up against the best bodies. I'm not talking about the best bodies in Rayford, or Bonnie Doom, or North Carolina, or Sanford at the fucking Fit for Life in Sanford, y'all. I'm not talking about that type of thing. I'm talking about people from all over Sweden, Colombia, Puerto Rico, Denmark. And then you got to worry about the rest of the United States. These are the people that your Fit Factory athletes are going up against. They, they know now, after the showing that we've had these two last national shows, that we're not a bunch of country bumpkins down here in Fayetteville. This is not a bullshit organization, the Fit Factory. We're a serious movement. We're a serious movement, and we're going up against the top bodies in the nation, and we're competing hard. So it's not about going there and winning, it's about going there and getting the experience and, and overcoming your fear and having courage and pushing forward and knowing that your teammates is watching you back there on Facebook Live and you might have been nervous and now put that camera on your Facebook Live 
And then I see Teresa Moto say, come on, girl, pump it up. And I'll be like, Teresa Moto said, pump it up. And Angry was like, shit, whatever. <laughs> she said, hold, Jay. She said, okay, five seconds, hold. And get it, that's what it's all about because each and every last one of you guys know being backstage with us and you see it on camera, you're like, holy shit, I experienced that. I know how they're feeling right now before they go on stage. I'm sending that positive energy. We more than just a bunch of fucking t-shirts and jumpsuits, man. Look around you, man. We got kids young and old. I see kids coming here every day and little kids now posing, doing different poses when they come in here with their parents. This is a movement, man. This is more than just a jumpsuit and a t-shirt. This is more than just signing a contract. You ain't gonna find this nowhere else. I don't give a damn where you look, because I just search high and I just search low. Like I tell my kids, when you lose something, search high and low. And I haven't seen nobody doing it like us. Alley work is, you know, fucking 42 days straight. 42 days straight, training for fucking 14, 15, 16, 17 people a day. And she still gotta prep for her pro show. And she doing it because I'm out sick. That's what you call like next man up. Or Lou coming in helping me train. Or Ryan coming in helping me train when I'm out. Or Tanner stepping up and doing some posing for me. Or goddamn Chocolate City. That's too much chocolate to give people diabetes, by the way. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> you people having to get insulin because of you. We got to tone them kids down just a little bit. Uh, Janine, like, I know that's why I'm married. <laughs> I done had diabetes four times. <laughs> but that's what it's all about. It's about the Janets of the world that's out here that's work a full time job. Mother of about 17. <laughs> <laughs> Mother of about 17 and still getting it in. It's about the Lucianos that's working 12, 13, 14, 15 hours a day, taking care of four kids, taking care of a house. It's about Sandra having a business and still getting it done. There's no excuses. Excuses only satisfy the person that use them. A lot of y'all microwave generation people want to live in it right now. Y'all want it right now. Y'all don't want to grind like Mike and Ingrid that been grind for four or five years. Y'all don't want to grind like the Sandra Cote that been grinding for about six, seven years at this. Y'all don't want to do that on the Chocolate City. So what I tell you guys right now, if you guys can take any example from this room, take the example of perseverance, take the example of grind from the people right next to you. No matter if you're on the highest level as a pro, or you're on the regional level, or you're trying to get to the regional level, it all matters. You're competing against yourself. Loyalty, dedication, and honesty. Those principles. So I'm gonna say this and people are gonna get upset, but nobody else in this town can say nothing about the Fit Factory. So moving on to the highlights here. So I'm talking about this young lady, her first year going to the Masters Nationals. Don't, did you place in the top 15? Top 10. Placed in the top 10 the first time when she went. Went back the following year. She could've had an out. She went back the following year, worked on her improvements. I remember the first year, Mike called me, Jake, get up, we gotta go to the finals. Remember that? Even <laughs> fifth place. I'm like, what? Put the on, you serious? He's like, nah, I'm just joking. That's just how they had it listed. <laughs> I remember that. So the first year, not getting what we wanted to get, going back the second year, having to work harder, getting into not only the top 10, but the top five in three different divisions. We got snubbed. It should have been four. Got three. Three different divisions, top five, which is incredibly hard. And then she said, we gon' we sat in the back of the van. We was excited about them top five trophies, right? We was high five, I think I even smoked a cigarette. <laughs> I, I don't even smoke. But one of them white cigarettes, I keep the butt up on the ground, so it's like, right? If I got a light, it's felt like a cowboy walking out of there. I don't know. I just, don't even smoke. It was, anyways. Um, back that's finishing my cigarette, and, and we pumped up. And I said, Ingrid, we gonna be back here next year. We gonna come get your shit what belongs to you. And Mike's in the front seat, was like, yeah. I'm getting that goddamn top five. <laughs> <laughs> and Mike went and did it. So not only did Ingrid go by and get what belongs to her, Ingrid went back and got what belonged to her place and getting her pro status in four different <laughs> divisions. Now, I know they say we only got four pros, but what does that do to them pro cards that Ingrid got in four different divisions? Those don't not count.
Lena got a torn pectoral muscle where her implant comes in and out anytime she do any type of upper body movement. She's been dealing with this for about two months. Might tape her up every morning with duct tape, <laughs> athletic tape, and, and four or five sports bras. Is this not true? <laughs> and she still goes out there. So I know people complain this hurt and that hurt. But if you're getting ready for the biggest show of her life, this is her one opportunity to say, get surgery. She said, the devil's a liar. And they happened. She came in here and said, Jay, I'm injured, but I'm ready. I'm not gonna make this an excuse. And she went out and got a pro card at four different divisions. Can't have no fucking excuses on that about some cottage cheese or flounder or any of this other shit. Alright? <laughs> so Ingrid Harris. Now, last, last, but certainly not least, one of my most favorite people. This young lady is another example of hard work and grind. Another woman that works 12, 13 hours, take care of family, still get her time in the gym. We have been, this is our fourth national show. We've been knocked down, she gets back up. This is the best she's ever looked, and I'm super proud when she went out, she owned the stage. She really let the Fit Factory uh, be known out there with our posts and our stage presence. I want y'all to give it up. She's at work. Give it up for the one and only. We're extremely proud of you, Lou. You know, one more time, you gotta do your lips like this when you say Lou. Lou!